Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome. Welcome. Can I see some faces this morning? Hey, Jim. I see Malcolm. I see an Edmund. I see Maricus. I see Myra. Happy belated birthday, Myra. We have Omar. It's so good to see your faces. We got we got Jordan with us this morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Welcome into the presence of God. Welcome into the very very presence of God. It is so good to see your beautiful, beautiful faces this morning. And let us pray just for a few minutes. Dear God, we are so grateful. We are grateful for your loving kindness and your tender mercies towards us, God. We ask that in this experience that you um, have your loving arms of protection around us and that you keep us safe from hurt, harm, and danger. Keep us now in your glory and in your grace and in your favor forever. We pray this in the name of Jesus. Amen. 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 want to give people a heads up um, to make yourselves really comfortable and to make sure you have snacks and water near you. Uh, take care of yourself in this worship experience. We got testimonies this morning. We want to be present. We want to be attentive. We want to be open to all that God has for us on this morning. And so it is, I'm going to pass the mic. I'm going to pass the mic. I'm going to share the mic with Scarly. Hey, Grand Rising family. Hi, everyone. Um, I'm Scarly. I am your host this morning. Um, and I want to start off um, all of us giving a shout to our safety team, um, Rick and Kelly. So give us your best dance move for them this morning. Some applause. Yay. Thank you, safety Hello. team. Hello. Happy, happy Sunday. Happy Sunday, Miss Juliet. Um, so thanks for starting us off. We'll move now to the passing of the peace, which is when we all unmute ourselves and give a greeting this morning. So if you're on your computer, unmute yourself, say hello. Good morning, everyone. Hello, hello, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, good morning. Good morning, morning. 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 Great to hear you, Ms. Julia. Um, you know how to mute and unmute yourself. Great. Um, so I want to let you all know that we have a slight change in the worship order. Um, we're going to save the conversation circles for the end in order to make room for the sermon moment, um, which we have a testimony today. Um, so look out for the breakout logistics after the sermon. Um, and I just want to take a moment for us to ground ourselves and and really make this Zoom call different than all the other ones we partake in during the week. Um, so let's take some breaths together. Um, inspired by Adrian Marie Brown, um, these three breaths. Um, I invite us to take the first breath for the day thus far and everything that happened this morning already. A second breath for this very moment that is fleeting and that cannot be recreated. And a third and final breath together for now for the day and night that is to come, including the rest of service and everything we don't know about it, honoring that mystery. So welcome family. I hope you're feeling good and in your body. And as pastor said, have snacks and water and anything that you need. Um, I will be um, live streaming on Facebook until the testimony. We will go off Facebook for that, for the purposes of vulnerability and um, safety in the space. Um, but for now, I want to pass the mic to Biana for our welcome. Go Biana, yay. Good morning. Good morning, everyone. It's so good to see everyone's faces again. Um, new day. <laughs> good morning, Abna. Good new day for me has been such a constant for the past couple of years, really, especially since since March now. And this community has really managed to stay connected and create this space every Sunday where we can worship together, we can love together. We can grieve and heal and really feel the presence of God 
together, even through all of the chaos, all of these challenges that we've had to face for the past couple of months. Um, and so I would like to welcome you all into this space. All of you are, and all of you is welcome here this Sunday. So welcome to New Day today. Good morning. Oh, good morning, everyone. Good morning. So God bless you. I think that, that brings us to our worship moment. And um, it's so wonderful to see so many of our old faces, uh, excuse me, your old faces, because you're old, you know, because you know them. And uh, the new people that are here, so God, so bless you to be here. And I hope this service touches you and, and be a blessing upon your life. Uh, we want to open service with just a simple prayer, really. And that is just to love God and love people. So here we go. to me. Welcome. Welcome everyone again. Welcome everyone again. I um, I heard Scarlett this morning. I'm so uh, for the Holy Spirit. Um, Scarlett said something this morning about 
taking a breath for the unexpected. She says something about taking a breath for the unexpected. And so I, I wanna make some space this morning. I wanna make some space this morning for us to think about a centering question um, in this past week. And I want us to reflect collectively um, on the miracles in our lives, the miracles that have begun to begin to unfold in our lives for this week, this past week. I want us to think about the good things and the blessings of this week. And what is, what is something that, is, that happened that was unexpected? I want us to, to state that this morning in gratitude to our community, to put it in the chat or to say it out loud. If you're watching live on Facebook, share with us what is one thing that has happened that has been unexpected this week. Well, I'm grateful this morning <clears throat> and thankful this morning for um, friends that are actually picking up the phone and reaching out um, to hold on and to create our connections and keep our connections post this um, time of isolation because of COVID. <clears throat> I would like to share that something unexpected that happened to me uh, this week was that it was my birthday during a pandemic. I thought that I was going to be like all by myself and I was by myself here at home, but I received so much love from everybody. A lot of videos and phone calls, messages, messages on Facebook, on WhatsApp and I am so thankful for, um, you know, all the love that I felt on my birthday this year. Thank you. Thank you for my health. Thank you that my son's health is improving. Thank you for being close to New Day Church and thank you for Claude. Um, I'm really grateful for an unexpected night walk with Alexis. Um, it felt like we were out like camping in the woods because <laughs> there were no people around and we were in a park with lots of trees. And so it was just very refreshing and, and crisp and, and really loving and much needed. Amen. We have some really thoughtful things in the chat that I want to share. Um, random thoughtful gifts from my dad, Jane Ann. Miriam says, my youngest son shared his talents and dreams with me. Praise God. Mari Cruz, grateful for a night of dancing. Keyshawn, grateful for a new day and a new day. Uh, someone got a vaccine. Someone got a vaccine. I think it's Christine, right? Holler if I'm t if I'm saying it correctly. It's Christine, right? Okay, I might have that wrong, and if so, I apologize. Um, grateful to have been invited to spend a beautiful day outside and enjoying the cold, Claude. We have a lot of happy birthday messages to Myra this morning. Heidi says, waking up, it's not expected and I don't take it for granted, hallelujah. Grateful for being able to hear and listen to my higher self. Thank you, Marty Cruz. Gregory, I didn't expect to be so emotionally moved by the inauguration on Wednesday. I was, ooh, I was emotionally moved by those bundles, amen, amen. 
those bundles and those colors. Amen. Amen. A deep and meaningful conversation with my brother and sister living in different states. Thank you, Jim. Kazim, and grateful for a safe return to New York City. Amen. And it's good to have you back with us. Pam says, I propose. Yeah, I, that was from before. Amen. Grateful for friends actually reaching out to connect. Amen. Amen. There are so many blessings um, in the house and in the building this morning um, and this week. And so it is that um, we are grateful for all the unexpected blessings. And so likewise, I want to leave room for any um, anybody that needs prayer this morning. Um, if you know someone who needs prayer this morning, grateful for the joy of the Bernie meme. Amen. Thank you, Claude. I almost came in with my little jacket on and some mittens on. <laughs> um, just to be funny, but um, I let that go. So... <laughs> I released it. I left that with Bernie. Um, and so let's let's think about, let's shift this morning and think about who we are holding in prayer. Who, who is in our heart? Who are we, who are we holding in prayer? Happy belated birthday, Tiago. Tiago says he is grateful for having fun in the park playing soccer yesterday with his friends for his birthday party, even though it was so cold. We know Tiago has been wanting to be with his friends, so we are grateful. Praying for my Keyshawn Hill says, praying for my mother and her lupus pains and my uncle in his cancer pains, praying for healing. Do we have anything coming in from the Facebook Live? Lovely Toussaint, Lavasia, Anna Perez, we're praying for you. Praying for my son. Praying for Miss Juliet's son this morning. Praying for healing. Praying for Claude. Praying for Claude. Kelly says she's praying for my parents and their that their pain may ease and their health may improve as much as they can. We're praying for you, Kelly. Praying for Sonia, my friend's cousin who is fighting COVID. The local 202 victory. Praise God, praise God. That is an unexpected blessing. Amen, amen. We are praying that workers all over the globe get the, the living wage that they deserve. We're praying and we're interceding that that will happen across this country. What we saw with the local 202 has been miraculous. Amen. Praying for all to have a warm space to stay in this cold weather. Amen. Ashe. Praying for strength. We're praying for you, Ashley. Praying for strength as I'm coming up on the one year anniversary of my father's death later this week. We are praying with you, Ashley. Amen. Kimberly says, praying for my mom and sister's health of body and mind. Won't you all pray with me this morning? Let's get ourselves in the posture of prayer. <sighs> breathe however you want to breathe. Just be attentive to the breath. Just be attentive to the breath. Dear God, we are grateful. We are grateful for just you being God this morning. Just you being God. God, we thank you for this loving community. We thank you for those who are watching and partaking live. God, we are grateful for our young people and their presence this morning. We are grateful for our elders this morning. We are grateful to be in an intergenerational and abundant community. God, we ask as we go into deeper into this worship experience that you allow your healing to reach those who need it. We ask that you heal those who might be sick in their bodies, those who might be dealing with mental health crises. God, we ask that you bless them right now in the name of Jesus. God, we ask that you bless 
workers all across the globe right now, God, we ask that you bless organizers who are fighting for their rights to a living wage, to adequate health care. God, we trust and we believe that justice will come to this earth and that we will live into your beloved kingdom. On this side, God, we believe that right now. And so God, as we go deeper in you, as we move closer to you, we ask that you give us the strength that we need for today and tomorrow and the days that are to come. Remind us that we are unconditionally loved by you. Come Lord Jesus, come Lord Jesus right now. Bless those who are preparing to bring their testimonies, allow them to be witness, allow them to feel seen. Whatever strongholds come to hold them, God, we ask that you release them right now in the name of Jesus. And we pray this, we pray this in your many names. We pray all of these blessings in your many names. We pray this in the names of our ancestors, God, who came before us and teach us how to walk and teach us how to live. We pray this, all these things, in these many names, amen. Amen, amen, amen. Come off mute and say amen. Touch and agree with amen. me, amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. Amen, amen. 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 Amen, it is so, it is so. God says yes and amen. Amen. All right. We're going to make a transition here this morning. I am in discernment about where the announcements go. So thank you for your patience. <laughs> thank you for your patience. Um, I'm going to share my screen and we're going to think of, we're going to do um, our community announcements this morning. Really briefly, if you're a part of leadership council, um, please know that we will come back into the room at 2 p.m. If you are on leadership council, we're asking that you that you come back into the room. You receive the calendar invite from me. We ask that you come back at two o'clock. All right, I'm about to share my screen with everyone. Um, all right, the new day announcements. All right. All right, this um, on the first Sunday in February, we will be doing inviting Sunday and we will celebrate Holy Communion. We have a very exciting and amazing February plan for you all. We have a moment for, for black spirituals and we're gonna get our worship team to come in and actually teach us some black spirituals and their meanings. We have a dance troupe coming in on the first Sunday in February. We have Jamila and Alexis who are coming to dance. And so we are excited about all that is happening in February. We invite you to bring your black friends and bring your black colleagues to come into the room on this first Sunday in February and be with us all month long. Come on the first Sunday in February to receive Holy Communion and to kick off Black History Month at New Day. Amen, amen. And in speaking of worship planning and the work of worship planning, our March worship um, planning team uh, will meet in the next couple of weeks. And so it is, you are highly encouraged to put um, your interest in the chat if you are interested. We will be um, in the season of Lit together. It is Women's History Month. And also it is New Day's 12th anniversary. So you are invited to come and bring your ideas and bring what you are excited about to this worship planning experience. Um, all are welcome. The New Day Growth Groups, woo, Undrowned, um, a growth group by Kendall Allison um, is, has taken, has already started. And so you are invited to join us on Wednesdays at 7 p.m. 
Um, so this coming Wednesday, Wednesday, January 20th, you are invited to come. There is a Zoom link and you can reach out to Kendall if you would like to join. Amen. There's so many exciting things happening in the life of our church. We have our Mother's Garden Growth Group. We have a group of caretakers and parents and creators and workers and spiritual practitioners that are doing some really powerful work around decolonizing family legacies. And so they are asking the question, what does personal healing and growth look like in relationship with our mothers? How do we nurture our mother's gardens without sacrificing our own well-being? And so our Mother's Growth Group will meet on Sundays directly after service starting today and going until March the 6th. And if you want to be a part of that, you are invited to join. I know there's a few people that are a part of this. There's Kelly, there's Marty Cruz, I believe it's Claudia and... Um, Miriam has been doing really powerful work to put this group together. And so if you want to join, just be in contact with the members of this growth group. Amen. Lent and care packages. We are approaching the season of Lent. And so in the link tree, you will see an option to choose what kind of care package you want. We're going to start sending those care packages out in the next week. And what that package will consist of will be ashes that go on our heads. For Ash Wednesday, we'll do a one hour service um, on February the 17th. And so everybody gets ashes, um, but not everybody will get the books. You will have to request in the Google link that is in the link tree, you get to request what book you want to, to have and what, what Lent and spiritual group you want to be a part of. We have a few amazing books. And so let us know um, before the end of this week what you want so that we can send it to you so we get it to you on time. We'll also be doing a special offering on today to raise the funds to be able to get these out to those who want to partake um, and those who want Lenten care packages. Connect with mutual aid. Amen. Amen. Mutual aid is doing powerful work and getting more creative with how uh, we distribute resources. And so there is a connection form that is meant to generate how we can use our material, emotional, and spiritual resources to grow during these times when we feel like we might be shrinking. I took a look at that form and it's a very easy process. If you need something, if you need something tangibly, if you need someone to pray for you or to walk with you through something, we are here for you and so we encourage you to fill out this form so that we know what you need and so that we can be here with each other amen voces is today at 5 p.m they meet religiously you can write um with them on zoom you can and also um that is also in the leak tree Sunset meditation with Alexis. We all know that meditation happens every Saturday night unless he cancels, which I think he did last night, but you'll be able to, to keep an update on that by following him on Instagram and keeping up with us in our newsletter. And so it's Saturdays at 7 p.m. And if you are in need of pastoral care, if you should need anything, I'm available by telephone or by email. For those who are watching live, if you want the opportunity to give to New Day, to give to the special offering this morning as we prepare to send out our Lenten care packages, you are encouraged uh, to give your Bonco or Venmo or Cash App. You can even mail us a check. If there are things that you want to offer to the community, they are more than welcome. And know that your physical and your financial support makes this ministry possible. Um, and New Day is so grateful to you. And so I think that those are all of our announcements. If you have announcements, send them in to New Day Bronx and follow us on the Facebook, follow us on the Instagram, follow us on Twitter. Amen. 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 We are an active community and we are grateful for that this morning. We are grateful for that this morning. And now I'm going to pass the mic. I'm going to pass the mic to those who are doing scripture. Sorry, we had to do a little switcheroo since we're doubling up today. Um, if you wish to follow along to the scripture, you may do so on the screen share. 
Today's reading is from the book of Mark, El Libro de Marcos. We ask that the Holy Spirit, El Espíritu Santo, enrich our understanding of today's scripture. Now after John was arrested, Jesus came to Galilee, proclaiming the good news of God and saying, the time is fulfilled and the kingdom of God has come near. Repent and believe in the good news. As Jesus passed along the Sea of Galilee, he saw Simon and his brother Andrew casting a net into the sea, for they were fishermen. And Jesus said to them, follow me and I will make you fish for people. And immediately they left their nets and followed him. As he went a little farther, he saw James, son of Zebedee, and his brother John, who were in their boat mending their nets. Immediately he called them and they left their father Zebedee in the boat with the hired men and followed him. Más tarde, después del arresto de Juan, Jesús entró en Galilea, donde predicó la buena noticia de Dios. Por fin ha llegado el tiempo prometido por Dios, anunciaba. El reino de Dios está cerca. Arrepiéntanse de sus pecados y crean la buena noticia. Cierto día, mientras Jesús caminaba, caminaba por la orilla del mar de Galilea, Vio a Simón y a su hermano Andrés que echaban la red en, al agua porque vivían de la pesca. Jesús los, los llamó. Vengan, síganme. Y yo les enseñe, en, enseñaré cómo pescar personas. Y enseguida dejaron las redes y los siguieron. Un poco más adelante, por la orilla, Jesús dio a Santiago y a Juan hijos de Zebedeo, en una barca, reparando las redes. Los llamó de inmediato y ellos también los siguieron, dejando a su padre de Zebedeo en la barca con los hombres contratados. Amén. Good morning. Good morning. Thank you for reading the scriptures. So today for our children's moment and over the course of the next year of 2021, we're going to dive into a very important subject that is near and dear to the hearts of everyone in our church, Black Lives Matter. Today we have kids speakers and readers lined up to help us learn more about Black Lives Matter. Um, Nazem, would you please share with us what you already know about Black Lives Matter? That there's empathy in it. Yes. Yes, thank you. Is there anything else you want to say? Well, that's what I came up with, but it's awesome. <laughs> cool. And now we have Malcolm. Would you please share with us why you think we would want to learn about Black Lives Matter in church? Malcolm? Uh, uh, hold up. No worries. Because God is good and Black Lives Matter is also, what? God, because God is good and Black Lives Matter is also good. And our church believes in Black Lives Matter. Thank you. Thank you, Malcolm. Um, hold on. One second. Sorry, something's missing from my thing. Great. Cool. Thank you, Nazim and Malcolm. Now, Black Lives Matter is not just something we say and believe. It's also a whole movement. A movement is a group of people with a shared purpose who make change together. Black Lives Matter comes from the hearts and minds of three Black women co-founders in Los Angeles, Patrice um, Coulors, Alicia Garza, and Opal Tometi. The Black Lives Matter guiding principles that help people understand what the movement is all about keeps people focused on what's important and supports us in freedom dreaming. Um, Gibran, would you please read to us the 13 principles of the Black Lives Matter movement? Okay. Excellent. The 13 principles. 
Um, the 13, thir the 13 Black Lives Matter um, guiding principles. Restorative, restorative justice, restorative justice, diversity, empathy, loving engagement, clear affirming, transgender affirming, Unapologetically black, black women, black families, black villages, globalism, intergenerational, and collective value. Awesome. Thank you, Gabran, for reading that to us. That's great. In the chat, it said, Nehemiah says, Black Lives Matter because I am black. Yes, yes, Nehemiah. Um, so, wait, today, uh, I'm just watching. What does wait call me? Like a good thing. Oh, we're off me. <laughs> you you got to say, wait, that's how you say it. <laughs> say hi, Miles. Bye. 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 Thanks for. You mute it, Jenna. Great, sorry, thank you. Uh, today we are starting with the first principle in the Younger Kids book, um, Unapologetically Black. Kofi, would you please share what unapologetically black means to you? It means that Okay, what, 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 what are they getting? Kofi. We are who we are. I think Trash is what we think. Oh, there's going to be We are who we are, yes. Thank you, Kofi. Now, the young from the older kids uh, from the younger kids book yep um everyone should feel proud of who they are and everyone should feel comfortable and confident standing up for what they believe it's important to make sure that all people are treated fairly and that's why we and millions of other people all over the country and the world are part of the black lives matter movement we stand up for all black lives to create a world where all black people can be unapologetically black. Thank you, Lola. Um, and now Jordan, would you please read the unapologetically black page for us from the book you have for older kids? Um, I don't know where it is right now. Oh, <laughs> no worries. Lola, I think Lola also has it. Oh, Lola, do you have that too? Do you have your copy, Lola? Because what you read from was the copy that your younger siblings have. I think, right, Lola, you got this copy and Hunter and Chase got um, the copy that has the, the color picture on the front. Hold on. Okay. <laughs> no worries. Sorry, everybody. <laughs> Jordan, if you find it in the meantime and are, are willing to read, we'd love that too. There are definitely two parts.
Okay. So if they don't find Me? it, um, do you want to read it, Kelly? If they can't find theirs. I think we can come back to it. I think it's we can come back. I can move forward for now and see if they find it. I have it. Yeah, and actually I can take a photo and I sent in the um in the chat box a link also for the adults to be able to read through the principles on their own, just FYI. And in terms of this, we're gonna come back to unapologetically black next week. And so the children can read the older version next week. That's fine. We'll make sure we're we're, we're better prepared for the, with the older children. Sorry about that. No worries. No worries. Okay. And now to move on to the next part, um, Ani Yancey will share with us a question we all think about and discuss over the course of the year as we dive deeper into the Black Lives Matters guiding principles. Um, Ani Yancey, what is your question? The question is how would it no, the question is how would it feel if everybody is allowed to be themselves in the world? Okay. How would it feel if everybody in the world was allowed to be themselves? Yes. Yes, thank you, Nancy. As adults have some freedom dreaming to do this year as well. So did um, Jordan find that or should we move on to the prayer for now? Um, yeah, I don't think he's found it yet. Okay, that's fine. We can, we can have have uh, that read another day. It was dying. Sorry, bad. Sorry, bad. Hold on. I looked over and it was 4%. Okay. So now let us pray together on that. Dear God, over this week, help us think about that question that Anianci pressed to us. How do you how would it feel if everyone is allowed to be themselves? Help us love each other and ourselves and how you made us while we think that question over. We all pray for change and strength to make that change. And we thank you for putting in our hearts love and desire for justice. Um, we pray for this wonderful community full of unapologetically black people and people who support everyone. Um, we love you and thank you for our children. Amen. Thank you, everyone. Let's give it up for our young people and Jane. Yay! I am so grateful for the young people. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. Um, okay. So I knew we could do this. When I came, I just knew that the young people had so much to say. Um, and we just had to make space for it. Yes. Amen. 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 So, so it is. It is sermon time. It is sermon hour. It's a sermon moment. Um, and so let us center ourselves. Let's center ourselves and be prepared to witness those in our community who have testimony. We have two testimonies this morning. We have um, Mari Cruz and Kazembe. I'm going to let them choose who wants to go first. Um, but um, for those who are watching live, we want to honor the vulnerability that, that might come forth in this worship um, experience. And so we are going to end our live at this time. And we invite you to come back and be with us next Sunday because I will be coming back to the pulpit. I think I'm ready. <laughs> I think I'm ready after these phenomenal, phenomenal preachers and, and, and folks who have been testifying. Um, and so uh, I'm going to let Kazembe and Mari Cruz come in their own way. But right before I do that, 
right before I do that, I have a little surprise for folks because we didn't get to look at this in the ways that we wanted to. Um, Allison did a, yes, we are going to do a song before, before the testimony. Um, thank you for reminding me of that, Keyshawn. I don't know what I would do without you. Thank you so much. Um, Allison um, did, has created some beautiful art and we got to see that in her testimony. And so it is that I want to share what she has created and a much more, I want us to see the breadth of the flower prints that she created. So we want to see that this morning. I'm waiting on it to, to pull up. Here it is. Share. Play. She has a quote here that says, the rose doesn't offer consolation, but resists, resists by itself the cruelty of life. We have artists among us, and I just want to make space this morning for us to see this beautiful artwork emanating from the testimony of Allison Chandler. Hmm. The beauty of God expressed through art. Dandelion. Wow. That looks like a pine tree. Hmm. Clover. There's just so, it's so beautiful to see that we have artists among us. Amen. 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 Wow. I'm going to be sure to put this some of these um just all over. I, I just want to i just want to like big up allison so they're just gonna be they're gonna be on newsletters and they're gonna be on instagram everywhere you just gonna see allison's work <laughs> amen 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 and so i'm gonna turn it over to the worship team and after the worship team we're gonna have our testimonies Um, amen. Amen. That was so beautiful. And oh, oh my God, I love the children. Um, this next song is simply one of our, I guess it used to be one of our hits and that's break every chain. And sometimes chains are not, you know, not just depression, not just, you know, the bills that come and uh, pound on you or the people knocking on your door, but sometimes the chain can be simple as I'm nervous. So we want to break those chains for our speakers today and let God use them and let you know that you are free. And if you have any issue, just know that there is power in the name of Jesus. Amen. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he sat in the Garden of Gethsemane. And when the, um, the guards came, Reach, break every chain, break 
Lives Matter principles and live into the Black Lives Matter movement and really be about restorative justice and empathy and centering Black women. Um, I hope that people, especially the white folks here and the men will, will yes, I am saying that right now, will give right now to the church. Um, we actually have a lot of work to do to get there. A lot. Um, a lot of work. And um, it includes like thinking through how we can do restorative justice because there are harms that have been caused in this church um, in the past. And as moving forward, we would like to come together as a community and find ways to heal together. Um, you know, we did a lot of powerful work after our Zoom attack last year. We did, you know, circles together for that. We, we hired therapists from the community, our broader community. Um, and to healing work together. And there's a lot of opportunity for that in other ways as well. Um, and if we're really going to center black women and we're really going to um, you know, build a village and we're all really gonna be here for each other, there's a lot of work that we have to do. And so I'm asking today, please, to um, think about how um, you can give today and also how you can give sustainably over the course of the year to help bring these, these visions alive that we are teaching our children. What we wanna teach our children, we want to be um, real. We want it to come alive. We wanna actually live by the guiding principles and build with the children. We want a freedom dream together. And we, we wanna hold ourselves and one another accountable in the ways that um, we need to. And I'm really grateful to be here. Thank you everybody. Thank you so much to this community for everything that you've done for all of us already. Amen. <laughs> for that offering. 
Um, now it's time for our conversation circles. Wait, can um, we do offering? Yeah. You got it, Pastor. Kelly? Yes, thank you. Sorry about that. <laughs> Let us put our hands out to bless the offering that we have received today. Thank you, God, for being with us every day, every moment of our lives. Thank you for this wonderful community. Thank you for the guidance you give us with the Black Lives Matter guiding principles. May we live into them. May we lift them up. May we live up to the righteousness that we believe in in this church. Thank you, God, for the many blessings you give us. Thank you to everyone in the church for the offerings you have given today. Amen. It's a new day, fresh anointing in my head. Seasons of power and community. It's a new season coming to me. It's a new season. Anointing on my head, seasons of power, community. It's a new season, it's a new season, it's a new season coming to me. All right, church, let's say our connecting principles together. We are connecting with God. We are, we are, we are connecting with God. God. We are crossing boundaries. We are, we are crossing, crossing boundaries. boundaries. Including race, class, sexual orientation, gender, and age. Including race, class, sexual orientation, gender, and age. And age. We are confronting injustice. We are confronting injustice. With the compassion and the abundance of God. In the with the compassion and the abundance of God. Amen. 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 Who is typing? Type. 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 Hi. Hi. That's a tape. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. Hi, everyone. Hi. 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 H